here is a quick look at how Real House Doug is working as a digital puppet. All right, so you can see I've um, got it all set up here in Adobe CAD and animate that. I'm going to turn on um, the mocap for, for the webcam, calibrate it. And first of all, let's just give you a general feel of how the puppet is moving. So if I move my head left and right, up and down. At the moment, I'm operating our pupils with the keyboard, but I can use the mouse if I want to have a much more, you know, looking wherever you want. I can have it running off my eyes as well. So if I press on camera input and then wherever I look, she looks. It's not an option I particularly like or ever use um, because the eyes are so small that the tracking is always a bit like wobbly and never exactly where it should be. As you can see now, her eyes are a little bit wandering. It can be good for um, live streaming, maybe, but I am still, you know, I always choose keyboard um, or mouse. Um, so yeah, if we look at the face, she's actually got quite a strong parallax. It's not just the facial features moving, but the jaw is moving, the colouring on the face is moving, the hair is moving, and not only are the ears moving, but they've also got tilt on them. So if you look, the ears really like flop side to side. I've also got that on the tail and on the necklace. So it creates a more 2.5D build for the puppet. As with all my characters, I have given her a lot of um, facial expression. I've got some ready made, so we go like this. That's a blink, another blink, another blink. Actually, when you make animations, it's good to have a variation of blink, so it's not too repetitive looking. A smile, happy, I can't remember what all these are called, so I'm just gonna quickly go for them. Now those are just a few samples, but actually I've got a lot more mouths and I've got a lot more eyes. For example, like we've got this crime one here. Um, and just like we've ticking up, I can mix and match them all and make loads and loads and loads of different expressions. Um, I've also got the from paws to draggers. So I've got, there's an example of the arms lifting up, but you can do a lot more of them, you know. Lots of gestures that you can do right there. I've also got a drag on the towel. You know, you don't actually need to do that with the towel. It's going off with the head motion. So, um, but Sando, if I wanted to keep her still and I wanted the towel to work, I can press that button. I can also do different variations of it. So it wags faster or slower and whatnot. Uh, if I press this, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, you can see that it's lip syncing to what I'm saying in real time. But again, what I tend to do is pre make the audio and then lip sync to that. Um, and then last of all, we've got the camera system. So, and those are cold cuts, but I can also do the zoom in as you would have seen in the other videos that I've made. Um, and then this is the background I made using Mid Journey, but um, I have got a couple of other ones. And that's the thing with Mid Journey. You can literally, you know, this dog, like in another scene, you could have her sat under like an expansive staircase. You could have her in a bath. You could have her being driven around in a car. You could have her next to a private pool. You know, whatever you can think of. Um, so we can put her all over the place. We can put her in a handbag, like I said. Um, you know, like a handbag celebrity rich person chihuahua uh, chihuahua so yeah here you go i mean she hasn't got a name so you can at the moment i'm just calling her the real house dog um so you might want to come up with a name for her also the jumper is layered so if we ever wanted to change her costume we can put all the clothes on the dog as well so that is also customizable so i hope you are very happy with your real house dog
Who? Did you watch the latest episode of Real Housewives of New Jersey? You didn't? Well, let me catch you up, dear. This week, the ladies took a trip to Ireland to help Bravo find a new cast, because apparently, the only thing harder than finding a leprechaun's pot of gold is finding interesting people in New Jersey. Meanwhile, Teresa and Melissa celebrated their 10-year anniversary of hating each other. It's like watching two turtles with bad hair trying to run a marathon. Slow, painful, and just as wrinkle. Was that bad? Dolores and Buzz Lightyear are still going strong, but unfortunately, Frankie and the Easter Bunny is MIA. Perhaps he's gone into witness protection after seeing some of these ladies absolutely murdering their nose jobs. Ah! So on a happier note, Pigtails and her beard finally did the laundry, proving that the only thing messier than their relationship is the laundry room. And shock horror, Danielle revealed that Margaret saw Melissa making out with a guy much taller than Joe in the backseat of a car. Well, who knew Melissa had such secrets? I think that's everything. Did I miss anything out? Make sure to let me know in your thoughts and what you're watching. Give me my next binge. Ciao.